Welcome to All Things Internet. Uh, I am a co-host, Rachel, and that is Emily. And I forgot the intro. We talk about things we see on the internet that usually have to do with the internet. And Emily fact checks about 99%. I fact check about one. So <laughs> in theory, that'd be 100%, but it's not. It, it it's levels not. out to about 90%. And right. we are gay, but not for each other. How you doing, Emily? <laughs> Really good. <laughs> that, well, you don't need to lie. <laughs> Not really good. I've had a rough day, but I'm here and I'm excited to film. So I have a nut stuck in, in between two teeth and I've been trying to get it out. So like, I'm not doing that great right now. <sighs> I'll pray for you. All right. I um, will have it. Mm, I got it. Mm. Oh, life is fantastic. I love my life. <laughs> my good juju I sent your way worked. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Emily was struggling. I vlogged it. Don't worry. You can see that on my vlog channel. Um, <laughs> yeah, I vlogged your meltdown. <laughs> no, you did not. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, FaceTime me. I love that. <laughs> Super. Great. All right. So, uh, Emily, would you like to start us off with our nod to my mother? I was actually going to switch things up today. Love it. What are we doing? Oh, I love a surprise. Give it to me. We were just going to start with the news first. Great. Give it to me. Bye, mom. Love you. Uh, <laughs> we, we have her in later. Okay. Um, okay. So for our less exciting for, oh my God, I'm already messing up. For Breathe. Our quick, we need a moment. Breathe in through your screamed. nose. I already screamed in the closet for a solid oh, five minutes. Oh my God. Don't go back in the closet, Emily. That's not good for anybody. It's not good for anyone. Um, all right. For our quick but not less, not any less exciting news, um, I cannot believe that I failed to mention last week that Kylie Jenner gave birth to her second baby. And didn't they name it like Dragon Wolf or something? That would have been a lot more interesting. All I've seen so far is that no. its name is Wolf Webster. Oh, yeah. Dragon Wolf. Well, I, don't, I was Wolf. I remember Wolf was in there. I didn't remember what its name yeah. was. Wolf Webster. She gave birth to him on February 2nd, 2022. So 2 2 22. That's pretty epic. That's pretty cool. I'm like 99% convinced that she did it on purpose. Like asked to get induced so that she could give birth. Oh, yeah. Or had a scheduled C-section. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like angel numbers. And that's just something she would do. That's cool. I don't know. If I yeah. had the choice, if I was, you know... That they're like, you have to give birth within these three days. And one of them was the 2nd of February on 2022. I'd do it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Um, the name, I'm not sure how I feel about, but it's not my baby. So do what you want. I kind of like Wolf. Um, I, don't, I like Wolf. I don't know about Webster. But well, again, that's, that's, not my, it, my opinion doesn't matter here. Exactly. Yeah. Her baby. Um, also, I was so busy being mad at Joe Rogan last week that I forgot to mention that Rihanna is expecting as well. Oh, my God. I loved when that happened because everyone on the Internet was like, we're never getting an album now. Right. She gives us a baby before she gives us an album. All we wanted was an album. Selfish. <laughs> so selfish. <laughs> but we're obviously very happy for her. Of and course. And seem very content. So she's having... I didn't even know her and ASAP Rocky were dating. You and didn't? Looked, How did I know this and you didn't? No idea, but I looked it up and apparently they like weren't purposely trying to keep it a secret, but they weren't like blasting it on the internet either because they just wanted to like have it to themselves. Exist so I don't feel normally. They yeah. weren't a normal relationship, right. I understand. Right. So and they're very cute together. Yeah. Um and, and then in bigger news. So we're gonna Billie call Eilish. we're gonna call sorry, we're gonna call those Go news blurbs. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Those are our news blurbs. And here's our new so stories. Ooh, I love it. I'm on it. I'll pick up where you leave off. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we're going to be talking about Billie Eilish and Kanye West. Okay. Um, so we have a quote unquote feud going on between Billie Eilish and Kanye West. Why, um, Kanye? I know it's his fault. Why? It's always his fault. Um, fault. Billie just wants to freaking exist. Right. And Kanye just wants to stay relevant. Um, allegedly. Um, <laughs> it, all, <laughs> it all started when Billy was performing in Atlanta um, a few days ago and noticed that one of her fans was having trouble breathing. So she completely stopped the show, stopped performing, asked everyone to back away from the audience member and made sure the fan got an inhaler and space and water and was taken care of. Cool. Um, 
And while everything was settling down and she made sure the fan was okay, Billy told the crowd to relax. We are taking care of our people and then said, I wait for people to be okay until I keep going. Yeah. Everyone knew that this was, well, I can't speak for her. It is presumed that this was a slight towards Travis Scott and the whole Astro World incident that happened a few months back where, you know, several members of his crowd at his show, including a nine-year-old freaking child, were crushed to death while he was performing and he continued to perform. Yes. While all of this, these mass casualties. She is taking responsibility for her show. She is in charge and she's not taking that lightly. Right. Props to her. Yeah. Okay. Um, so obviously Travis Scott claims that he was unaware as to what was happening in the crowd at the time, uh, despite the crowd shouting at him in unison and the fact that multiple yeah. ambulances were driving through the crowd. He didn't know what was going on. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> Of course not. But anyway, it wasn't Travis that called out Billy for the offhanded dig. It was none other than Kanye West. Why? Why, dude? You did not need to be in the middle of any of this. Also, because don't. Why are you getting? Is he so he's mad at her for making sure people don't die? Yep. <laughs> dude. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, um, so a few days after the footage of Billy taking care of the fan went viral, Kanye took to Instagram posting a screenshot of a news headline that detailed Billy's, you know, good deed and her alleged jab against Travis Scott. And his own caption read, Come on, Billy, we love you. Please apologize to Trav and to the families of the people who lost their lives. No one intended this to happen. Trav didn't have any idea of what was happening when he was on stage and was very hurt by what happened. And yes, Trav will be with me at Coachella, but now I need Billy to apologize before I perform. What? Why on earth would Billie Eilish need to apologize to Kanye West and Travis Scott for him to be able to perform? What? Right. How does purple plus mayonnaise <laughs> equal a freaking bedroom? What? I don't oh, understand. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? Also, right. how does what? How does this disrespect the families of the people who died? If anything, right. it's paying them respect, being like, yep. I will never let this happen. This tragedy you went through with your family, I will never let happen on my watch. Right. But Joy's over here in the corner said, preach. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. He is fully in just not even the wrong, just in like a different world. That is. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. There's there's (laughs) something going on there. Um, But yeah, Billie Eilish, Kanye West and Travis Scott were all supposed to perform at Coachella. um, But obviously, Travis was dropped from the lineup after what happened at his concert. But Kanye and Billie were still supposed to perform. Um, and now Kanye saying that obviously he'll refuse to perform unless she issues an apology. Um, what? Okay. Would <laughs> anyone actually be upset by that? Like, would no. any tears be shed if Kanye didn't perform? What? He is putting himself in the middle of something that has absolutely nothing to do with him. That is his life's tagline. Putting myself he in is, situations he, that don't have to do with my... <laughs> he seriously has been on the news so much because he keeps attacking Kim and like yeah, this messy yeah. divorce. And I'm like, I haven't heard anything about her. It's just all him just like making up things and then retracting them and like saying right. things, whether they're true or not, and then retracting them. I'm like, take this guy's social media away. But no, it's he's I'm don't. Like, he's That's his right to have it. Free Britney. But <laughs> 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 like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, it would... Just stay home. No one would care. Literally, no one would care. Um, so wow. <laughs> Billy, com- yeah, Billy commented on his Instagram post later saying, literally never said anything about Travis, was just helping a fan. And then if all of this was not bad enough, Travis Scott went and liked Kanye's Instagram post, calling her out. And Because he's a big baby. Facing- They're both big babies. Yeah. Right. And then after he fa- faced a little bit of backlash for it, well, a lot of bit of a lot of bit of backlash for it. He promptly removed his like too late, buddy. We all saw it. Well, so, I did. I, I didn't see it. But. <laughs> we all saw it. <laughs> we all saw it. <laughs> the screenshots are out there. There's no taking anything back on the Internet. No. So, Which is why we don't do mess. OnlyFans. Well, unless people are willing to pay. I th- Joy would pay. <laughs> Would you pay for it? She's going, uh-huh, in the corner. 
<laughs> Number right. one fan of both of us sitting over here. I'll do it for joy. She'll do it for joy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? Come here. I have no money. It would be all oranges. <laughs> she just I throw t- oranges I- at you from California. I accept that offer. <laughs> she accepts. I love it. All right. Is that is this enough madness? Are we on to? Are we not? Uh, I'm not calling we, Kanye West mad. I, this is the whole situation's madness. Or, or is right. that is that what we that, got? That that's what we got so far. All that's, right. That's where it's ended so far. Wow. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So. And people still like Coachella because I'm over that. I never went. I'm still over it. And I never went. <laughs> I had tickets to go because it's just one of those things. It's like Vegas. Like, there's nothing there particularly where I'm like, ugh, I'm dying to go. But it's like one of those things where I feel like you have to experience it before you die. Like, it's just. I just feel like a a festival in general is something you should experience. I went to Life is Beautiful. That was Mm. a thing I have never experienced before. Also, I'm old. That's where I realized that. Um, (laughs) So maybe when I was 23, that would have been a lot of fun. (laughs) I went to Bonnaroo when I was like 23, 20, 24, and Mumford and Sons was headlining, and that was one of the best experiences of my life. But I feel like Bonnaroo is a lot different than Coachella because Bonnaroo is like all East Coast hippies. Yeah. And like everyone was just so sweet and helping one another, and like, I don't know, it was just the greatest crowd. And I fully expected when I went to Coachella, it was just going to be like my, chaos. My thing with Coachella is it's so far from any like hotels or yeah. Airbnbs. I liked at Life is Beautiful, you can walk to a hotel afterwards. So we didn't have to oh, worry nice. about driving at all or shuttles. We literally walked right. from there to a crappy casino and spent the night there, which was nice. Because I, I heard for Coachella, sometimes people are waiting outside the gate, like in their Ubers or like in their cars to find parking for like three to four hours. Yeah, that's rid- I'm never going. I refuse. It sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just unconvinced myself. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Welcome. Okay, um, on to new news. We're just, we're just, we're off here. What's the next thing? Oh, news. I know. Is the next thing what Teeny wants us to talk about? Yes. Okay. Teeny. I will. I'm not. I'll just introduce it. My friend okay. Teeny, my longtime friend Teeny. She's known me since I was a wee little tot. Um, she listens to our podcast. What's up, Teeny? Love you. Um, she sent in the thing that she wanted us to talk about. It's a a health influencer who is being sued by the state of Texas because she is giving people wrong health advice that is hurting them. She told, this is what Teeny said, so you can fact check me. Uh, (laughs) She told someone with an uh, eating disorder to not eat lettuce because there's too much sugar in it. I did not hear that, but after reading about this woman, I could see her saying that. I'm going to state something real quick. Do not take health advice like strict health advice from a nutritionist or a health coach, a registered dietitian is the only person you should take true health eating advice from. They study for years at actual schools to learn how food affects your body based on who you are, your how your body is built, and if you have any like issues with like diabetes or cardiovascular disease or your health, like your genetic health issues, they take all of that into account. A health coach, literally, I could deem myself a health coach today. I don't know anything. So just because someone has a magical title doesn't mean anything unless they went to school for it and have a degree in it. Registered dietitians are the only people you should take food advice from. Okay. Preach. (laughs) You may now proceed with the story because I had you look into it. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Okay. So fitness influencer Brittany Dawn. Um, is being sued by the state of Texas. Um, The Texas Attorney General's office is claiming that her fitness plan program, which I believe she sold through Instagram or like through her website, but she got her popularity through Instagram. Um, They are claiming that her fitness plan plan program allegedly engaged in deceptive practices and negatively impacted customers with eating disorders, saying she charged shipping fees for digital products. She misled... (laughs) She misled customers with eating disorders and lied about providing personal plans. Um, So she started selling her online fitness packages in 2014 after she gained popularity on social media for sharing her healthy living, healthy lip. I'm doing dieting isn't healthy. Sorry. Dieting isn't healthy. If someone if you're on a diet, you're not being healthy. Continue. (laughs) <laughs> right. Well, she she preached she was living a healthy lifestyle and she was posting pictures of her body and her diet and her exercise tips. And basically she was just some 
white, hot, southern girl with a nice body that convinced people they could look like her if they followed her advice. Um, So she sold her fitness courses um, for prices ranging from $99 to over $300 per month. When I I first read that, I was like, oh, $300 like a year package. I was like, that's honestly like not too bad per month. Holy crap. Yep. Promising her followers that they'd receive personalized nutrition guidance and coaching from her. So like check-ins and and motivation and she would ask them like how they're doing you know stuff like that yeah um and so and so thousands of people bought into this program program thousands of them and so um it became super apparent very quickly that nothing about their personalized plans were personalized yeah Um, pretty much Everyone was receiving the same generic plan and she wasn't providing her promised coaching or check-ins. Someone bought the $300 package and this is one of the people that is in the court documents and is like actively suing her. Yeah. Um, They said they bought her $300 package and after two months, she only texted one time. And like this was supposed to be like she implied it was like daily check-ins and you know, all that kind of stuff. Wow. And she got one text in two months for $300. Um, and what's worse is from what I saw, at least 14 women with eating disorders made Brittany aware of their mental health struggle and uh, claim that she made their conditions worse by setting them up with a low calorie diet no. regimen that's only suitable for those people that are actually looking to like lose weight and not be healthy and learn how to eat healthy again. I hate, yeah. I hate this so much. My, well, and do you, I'm go sorry. Ahead, go. No, I was just saying my best friend. Kelly Six is a registered dietitian and I've seen her go through school for years to learn all about this and I'll text her stuff and like is this real and she'd be like no if it's a fad if it's a fad it's wrong and also I'll be like hey um like I want to do a smoothie what's the best way to do it and she'll be like okay so if you're going to put spinach in it if you want iron from spinach you also have to incorporate a citrus in it because that's the only way that the iron will actually be absorbed in your body and like things like that that people don't learn and it's like were you okay over there you have to sneeze sneeze. keep going oh god bless you thank you but like i the amount of stuff i send her and now i follow a bunch of registered dietitians on tiktok Mm -hmm. and the amount of stuff that is just completely made up like what is it uh there's how what what, okay uh, the what is it the keto diet yeah yeah that was made that was invented to help uh slow down the progression of alzheimer's it was not made as a diet it's and also it's a not a good diet for you yeah you'll get results immediately but it's not something you can sustain it's t- so i'm sorry i just this pisses me off so much because i see my best friend yeah. have to like fight all this stuff on a daily yeah. um and it's so sad because she's like people have no idea how health is because there's so many people spreading misinformation right well this is just like such a crisis in the u.s yeah. too like all of these young women and, you know, even full grown adults that are struggling with eating disorders and trying to figure out how to eat healthy. And all of these people in the industry who do not have the qualifications are just Mm-mm. constantly misleading them in yeah. order to make a sale. And it's, yeah. it's disgusting. And, it, and it's it's, I, it's a, a bad problem. I yeah. Hate, yeah, I hate that. I think it was like f- six years ago. I did one of those tummy teas, tummy flat tummy tea things an Instagram ad. I feel so bad about it. I feel so bad. I didn't know back then. I had no idea of anything. And so I feel so bad. I did have one Instagram post with them and I was like, I hate this. Like back, like back then I was like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And now every time I get an ad that's like people, a sponsor brought forward, that's like, uh, if it's not FDA approved or they're claiming it'll help you lose weight, I refuse to work with them. Cause that's just another way it's all these industries and all these people are just trying to grab money. So and taking advantage of people like yeah. vulnerable people. Yes. Yes. And sometimes yeah. I'll get companies that'll be like, it does all these like if it's honestly, if it's not FDA approved, I hate it. I don't hate it, but I just don't want to work <laughs> with them. Right. You won't support them. That's great. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I, yeah. Bah. Well, and like the one of the most disgusting things about all of this is the way that she lured in customers that uh, were looking I don't I have to be very careful about how I say this one of the ways that she lured in customers in the first place 
um, was by claiming in a YouTube video that she was able to conquer her own eating disorder through exercise and with this healthy diet that she was promoting. No. Um, so she used her own eating disorder to sell a product to vulnerable followers with mental health struggles. That's so gross. And then freaking malnourish them by not actually taking the time to read their form, to see what they filled out, to see that they said. Hi, baby. They- <laughs> what was that? We were podcasting. Hi, love you. Sorry, my girlfriend stepped in for a sec. She wanted to be included. She did. Um, But yeah, she didn't even take the time to read the forms where they were saying, hey, like I have an eating disorder that I'm trying to recover from and learn how to be healthier and I would like to learn how to do this. And she didn't even take the time to read the forms and then sent them a cookie cutter diet plan that was intended for people not suffering from eating disorders. So these poor clients of hers were legitimately trying to overcome their issues and like their struggles, but instead were misled into thinking that she was the solution when she wasn't and that is, didn't care. That's so gross. Right. So there were apparently thousands of angry customers that filed complaints, but wow. never saw a full refund. Some didn't even get a partial refund or an apology until 2019 when the backlash got so bad that she was forced to put out a pretty insincere YouTube video and yet still never offered full refunds. And now she's being sued for anywhere between $250,000 and $1 million. Wow. Oh, well, too bad. Bye, Rocco. <laughs> Bye, Rocco. <laughs> oh, so sad. Um, that, I mean, yeah, stop. Don't st- be a good person. And then you just try to be the best you you can be. And then maybe you don't get sued for millions like the Ace family and- last week. <laughs> oh, my God. The- Every week. Every week Every they're getting week. sued about something. Yes. And it's, it's just it, it comes back to, like, the amount of power that influencers hold, like, yeah. Their iron grip they have over especially the younger generation. It's like at some point there has to be, I don't know if it's like legislation, like if it needs to be taken that far or like there has to be some sort of accountability when it comes to influencers that are not qualified to give certain advice or to sell certain products. They have to be held accountable when it doesn't go well or bef- like before they're yeah. able to even do stuff like that. Yeah. It's just... I don't know. I don't know what a good solution would be, but it's it's a problem that's happening more frequently every day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's just that's all. That's just there's. I don't know the solution either. Yeah, it's. All right. Sorry, I was telling Joy Foods here. We ordered dinner. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, before we move on to anything else. Let's check to see if we have a sponsor for today. Sponsor, sponsor. Best Fiends, Best Fiends is our sponsor for today. (gasps) Do you smell that? Love is in the air. It's February. It's love month. And you know who needs some love? You. And that's why you should download Best Fiends and give your mind that much needed relaxation. Was such a calming yet exciting game. I have been in love with Best Fiends for years, and I still love playing it. Best Fiends is a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play. Each level is a new puzzle you have to solve with the help of some extremely cute little characters that you collect along the way. And then, as you play and get better, they grow and get stronger and help you even more. Best Fiends is a great game to play if you have just a few minutes or a few hours. It's a game you can totally unwind and get lost in or just play for a moment to kill the time there's always new characters and new challenging puzzles added constantly so you never get bored and there's tons of fun events where you can win huge rewards in the game and with thousands of levels best fiends has all the me time you need so are you ready to give your brain some tlc then download best fiends free today on the apple app store or google play that is friends without the R. Best fiends. All right, Emily, what else you got for us? Um, so that's it for big news. Are you ready for game time? I am ready, Freddy. I knew it. Um, okay, so our game this week is called Twitter Tracker. I'm going Twitter to be twacker. reading you. Twitter, it took me, when I was like, I was like, I'm trying to come up with a cute name. And I kept trying to tell it to my bestie, Emma. I was like, it's going to be called Twitter Twacker. Twitter Twacker. <laughs> Tw- Twitter tracker. <laughs> Gotta say it angrily. It's tri- <laughs> Dang it, I can't say it. It's yeah, right? Twitter tracker. 
I love it. Um, so I'm going to be reading you a verified iconic tweet that was once posted by a celebrity, and you're going to have to guess who said it. I'll give you three people to choose from, and okay, we're going to see if you can match it up. Okay. I wasn't going to leave you hanging out. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, not going to b- trump. Right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Number one, who once tweeted... Does anyone think global warming is a good thing? I love Lady Gaga. I think she's a really interesting artist. Just sit with that I, for a minute. <laughs> I, I've heard that before. I remember hearing that tweet before. Um, was it Debbie Ryan, Britney Spears, or Lindsay Lohan? Oh, I think it was, it was either Britney or Lindsay. I'm going to say Britney. It was Britney. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I like how she she really wrapped in there global warming with Lady Gaga. Yes, it was great. I remember I remember hearing that and it being like, what? Right. Multiple points were made on that tweet. Yes. Um. All right. Who once tweeted, sit uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, filter curse words. Okay. So I don't have to try new food. Um. Sit (laughs) on your own. (laughs) Sit on your own darn face. I'm busy. After a fan asked her to sit on his face. Cardi B. Was it? That's a good guess. Was it Nicki Minaj? I was going to say that's my other one. (laughs) Adele or Cher? Cher. It was Cher. (laughs) Oh, I'm good at this game. (laughs) You are. All right. Who, this one's a little harder. Oh, dang it. Who once tweeted, I love arm. Miranda Sings. (laughs) Did she really? I'm just assuming. (laughs) Was it Justin Bieber? Usher or The Rock? Uh, no, Justin Bieber. Arm. Justin Bieber. Was that you right? Are, you are good at this. Oh, Twitter was my jam for years. Oh. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Self-esteem boosted. Mm-hmm. All right. Who once tweeted, how many ladies ain't scared to fart in front of your man? Was it Lizzo, Cardi B, or Ashanti? I was immediately going to say Cardi B. It's Lizzo. It's oh, a I don't. Shanti. <laughs> ah, I don't know a Shanti well at all. Dang it, either. Like I know who she is, but like I don't know much about her. Dang it. Uh, but that does sound like something Cardi B would say. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. Who once tweeted, "I can't believe my grandmother's making me take out the garbage. I'm rich. F this. I'm going home." <laughs> Justin Bieber again? Wait, no. I remember hearing about this tweet. I remember reading this. Oh, okay. Give me my people. All right, was it Ludacris, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent? I think it was Ludacris. Mm, I hyped you up too soon. You did. 50, 50 Cent? cent? <laughs> Dang it. I yeah. knew it wasn't Snoop. Snoop would never diss his grandma like that. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Never. Um, all right, last one. Who once tweeted, I feel like there's a giant meatloaf inside of me? <laughs> Miranda Sings. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> Meryl Streep, Chris Jenner, Ellen DeGeneres. Meryl Streep? I'm disappointed in you. Come How on! Dare you insult our queen like that? I don't know. It was not Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> it was Chris Jenner. It was Chris. Je- I should have known. Oh, I didn't think her her team would let her do that. I think she is the team. That's I don't true. think she has a team. She is the team. <laughs> she is the team. It's like us telling you what to post. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Wow. Well, I was you good. Did, you, I did, did really well considering. Yes. That's I agree. the best I've done on the game. I don't know if I would have gotten any of those except the Britney one because I'm like no. never on Twitter. Um, all right. <sighs> uh, Is it question time? Oh. Well, before. <laughs> You can tell we really planned this. <laughs> <laughs> we rehearsed this before we happened to it. <laughs> so pop- right. You smell so good. I keep getting a whiff of your hair, and it's really nice. Is it the stuff that was in the shower? Yes. Function of beauty. Old sponsor. <laughs> Use code. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably like Rachel or something. <laughs> oh my God. Um, all right. Before we hop into the next segment, which is Wait. questions. Let's check to see if we actually have a sponsor for today. Sponsor, sponsor. 
Express VPN is our sponsor for today. Using the internet without Express VPN is like taking a call on a train or a bus on speaker for everyone to hear. You don't know who has access to your most private, sensitive information online when you're not using Express VPN. So don't be that person. Internet service providers know every single website you visit, even if you're cruising on private browser mode. And in the U.S., they can legally sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the Internet. So people can't peep on your online activity. Just fire up the app and click one button. It works on phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. No wonder it's rated number one by Business Insider and The Verge. I'm a private person. I don't like when people know what I'm doing. So this fits me perfectly. So secure your online activity today at expressvpn.com slash all things internet and get an extra three months of ExpressVPN free. That's expressvpn.com slash all things internet. Expressvpn.com slash all things internet. All right. I hope it's Function of Beauty because it is, it's not. It's either Express VPN or Best Fiends. Best Fiends. Best, best Fiends. fiends. <laughs> best Fiends. Best Fiends is a game I like. Best oh, Fiends, my favorite gonna... mobile puzzle game. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have like PTSD when you're like 80 years old and it's you're gonna gonna be gonna... in your wheelchair. Best Fiends. Best <laughs> Fiends. I, I genuinely always play that game and I have played it for years and I've worked with them so much. It literally, I don't have to read a script. I don't have to, I just go. I, I know I exactly know. what to say. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Lordy. Um, all right. Before we hop into questions, we cannot forget the most important part of our show. Our nod to Gwen segment. Uh -huh. um, this week, I wanted to use uh, this chicken and squirrel centered time to make a confession. Are you going to talk about the black squirrels? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pause for dramatic effect, though. All right. Um, I pride myself on being knowledgeable. I don't like feeling dumb. Uh, you know? I hate feeling dumb. It's like... It's like 90% of my personality is, is just feeling like I know something. Um, but when I was looking up chicken facts for today's show, I stumbled across a fact that I had never even considered before. Did you know? Because Probably I sure not. didn't. Probably not. <laughs> chickens are... N oh, my God. Please, no one judge me. Did you know that chickens are not native to North America? I didn't know that, but I'm also terrible at that kind of stuff. You could be like, lions are actually from Alaska. And I'd be like, cool. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. Yeah. No one, no one thought to tell me that chickens were not native to North America. So like when I was Where are like, they from? They're from Asia. That's where they're originally from. Huh. It's from Asia. And, okay. and I, I like when I always pictured like either like the indigenous people that were like still like hunting and gathering or like I don't know whenever I was picturing native North American animals I was picturing like deer and and chickens and ducks yeah. and bison nope they're from Asia um and apparently thanks they were Asia brought, right thanks they were Asia that's over, great we, we wouldn't have Popeyes without them <laughs> I was thinking I, I, I like my eggs so oh that too I like eggs yeah. I don't eat the chicken <laughs> I eat the egg Please tell me you were allowed to watch the Amanda show growing up. Uh, yeah, it was. You know, Debbie, I like eggs. Ah, uh, wow. That is a memory that was deep in there. You're welcome. Every time I hear someone say I like eggs in my head, I, I hear, I like eggs. I like <laughs> eggs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, apparently chickens were brought over to North America in the 16th century. Um, most likely, they're still trying to trace it because that's where our scientific money should be going. Uh, most likely <laughs> when <laughs> Dutch and Portuguese slave traders brought chickens over from Africa. Um, so enjoy that knowledge. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, then. Um, you got any questions for me? Oh, boy, do I. Um, Hit em. someone said, <laughs> said that we're going to start off with this banger. Um, do you believe in ghosts? I believe that I am not all knowing 
And therefore, I cannot definitely tell you if ghosts are real or not. But I do know one thing. If they're not real, y'all are wasting all your time. If they are real, (laughs) why are we trying to mess with them? Leave them alone. Give them their space. Why are we trying to disrespect them by hunting for them? You're hunting for them? That's rude. That's rude. You're like creating crap to find. If they wanted to be found, they would let you know. They do. They do let you know. <laughs> yeah, and it's never in a nice way. Clearly Not we should. My little ghosties are nice. Sometimes, sometimes. Listen, I say we shouldn't be messing with them. Let's let that world live if it exists. But I'm not going to say if it exists or not because who am I to know? I don't know anything. But I'm going to, I do know. The one thing I do know, don't mess with it. <laughs> All right. It's I disrespectful. Won't ever pick, I won't ever pick up a Ouija board. That no, haven't touched one in my entire me. life. Nope. Oh, I had some friends that wanted to do it in high school. We, I had a, a friend pass away in high school and our, all of me and her mutual friends wanted to do a Ouija board to like reach out and immediately, like I left the house. I was like, this Good. is not like, no, we're not joking with this. I was like that. I, I was also raised in a very Christian household where my dad kind of drilled it into me that like ghosts are demons. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh huh. She was raised in a Christian household as well, and so it's like don't mess with that stuff because it's all evil. Is what I was taught. As an oh. adult, I no longer think it's all evil, but yeah, no. I d- also think it's disrespectful. Hmm. I think it's not letting them lie where they like. You're not letting the souls live on to do what they want to do. I'm like. I'm of the belief if they're hanging around, it's because they have unfinished business and some of them need your help to finish business. I'm not talking about the ones that like, you know, when they go like ghost hunting at like mental, like old mental hospitals or like abandoned, like crash sites. Yeah, why are, Mm-mm. wait, why are you Mm-mm. trying to mess with the, at the mental hospitals? Why? Right. No. Right. No. So I don't like that. I don't, I don't nothing, like that. Mostly because it scares me. Nothing good <laughs> is going to come from this. Mm-mm. But like, I do like, like our... All right, I'm going <laughs> to – people can laugh at me all they want, but I 100% and no one will ever be able to change my mind, believe in ghosts. Um, my ex used to laugh at me for how hardcore I am about it, um, but I have way too much freaky and unexplained stuff that's happened to me and, like, in our family. Um, I don't like to acknowledge the bad ghosts because they freak me out and I just pretend they're not there. But don't, I give totally ha- don't give them the power. Don't give them the power. I totally have, like – like family and friends that have passed on that like hang around or nudge me or like send little signs or stuff and people can call me crazy but like i know that's what it is that's fine and i like i'm not gonna judge you or think you're crazy for that i am someone who like uh i think i close myself off to that Mm. and i'm not very open to it and i have had one experience and i is uh, that is unexplainable and therefore i'm like i am so closed off and so the fact that i was able to like hear that because you have to be open to it to like receive that i was like i can't deny it right but i don't know what it was i don't know what but uh we think my girlfriend and i think we stayed in uh like there was bad juju in an airbnb we were at once and i heard someone walk down the hallway clear as day (gasps) to the point where both my dogs heard it too and i was the me and uh the dogs were the only people there we're the only humans the living things there and my girlfriend was getting like sleep paralysis while we were there <gasps> and it was just like not good. And I was like, I feel off. I don't like Ew. it here. I heard Mm-mm. someone. I took, I like, I was sitting on the couch with both my boys and my girlfriend went to the beach with her dog and I heard someone walk in the hallway and my dogs like, whoosh, like looked over the uh-huh. hallway and I released, I grabbed blaze at first. And cause I was like, right. who's there? And then I was like, go. And yeah, he oh, went yeah. and searched all the time. <laughs> He went and searched and we couldn't find anything. I went with him. I grabbed a knife as if that was going to do anything. But like, I, I <laughs> thought it was a... just coming. <laughs> You're just slashing well, through empty air. Like I was, I was trying to logically explain things, you know, I'm very logical mm-hmm. for the most part. And so I thought it was a person that had broken in. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, no, like everything's the dogs locked. The are in. always your best bet for that. Yeah. And I was like, that is the like one true thing. That experience at the Airbnb is the one thing where I was like, I can't explain it. And I felt off. I felt yep. the vibe, the energy, the juju, whatever you want to call it. And yep. my girlfriend and I were like, nope. And we like, I contacted my sister who contacted her ghost buddy friend. And he was like, don't give it the power. Just yeah. ignore yeah, it. Yeah. 
say you're there it's for so peace. It's so hard though when they're messing with you. My like, girlfriend was getting sleep paralysis. Like it yeah. wasn't cool. It wasn't. And we got back to my place um, at my old house and we both went, oh my God. Like we didn't realize how stressed and uncomfortable we were until we got back to the security right. of my house. And then we were like, this is the calmest I felt in a few right. days. No. That and so I'm like I can't I'm never gonna say ghosts aren't real or whatever but I don't know what right. that was and I just I didn't like it. Mm. But so uh, my cousin that I'm living with now Emma she's related to me because her dad and and my mom are brother and sister right. and we have we call it the family juju where one sibling in every family branch gets the juju and Emma has it for her branch I have it for my branch we have like another branch and one of the siblings has it from there but we proved this theory to be true because everyone else in our family was laughing at us like everyone that doesn't believe in ghosts it's mostly the in-laws because they haven't grown up with our family but yeah. everyone is laughing at us we proved them wrong because they bought a house in Pennsylvania that was built like way 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 back when and like there's a lot of old history in it and they had this third floor like almost attic type of space yeah and when they when they were viewing the house emma walked in there and immediately got got, got chills on her body and she's like no something's wrong and like walked out and refused to go in that room didn't say anything to me i went to go visit the house for the first time had no idea she was showing me around we get up to the third floor i refused to walk in the room i was like there is something not good in there and she was like i told you and her husband who like always makes fun of her was like okay fine and then the last member from the other branch because there's three branches yeah it's my mom her dad and another brother the last the last juju child came to the house same thing didn't say a word to her we walk her up there actually it was it was kind of messed up Everyone was visiting for a family reunion. Reunion. We didn't have enough space, so we stuck her in that room <gasps> to like sleep. She woke up at three in the morning and grabbed her toddler who was staying in there with her and moved rooms. Like she went to go like sleep on the couch because she was like something in that room is off. And so the next morning, everyone was like, "We told you it's real," and like it turned into this big controversy. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I don't like, like it. We should- Mm -mm. I don't like it. We were going to sage, but then we were scared of like, I don't know, giving it power. But yeah. Anyway, so that answers that question. (laughs) All right. Yes. All right. Uh, Yeah. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Now that you've stressed me out. I'm sorry. I know. Now you're going to have to sleep with like the bedroom light on. (laughs) You said her name. Edit that out. And your Uh, own name. (laughs) I, I tackled the cursing and now it's girlfriend's name. Yep. Um, okay. If this is a more cheery question, <laughs> if you could teach only three things to your future child, or if you're not going to have children to the future generations, what would it be? And because I saw this question came, come in, I had a little bit of time to think about it. So if you'd like me to go first. Yes, I because I have, n- I have no idea. Right. It was such a good question though. And I'm, I'm kicking myself because when I screenshotted it, um, I forgot, I, I screenshotted it and I edited it. So like, I wouldn't see all the other questions. So I knew that was the one I was going to ask and it cut out the username. So whoever sent that in, uh. thank you. Cause this is like such a good question, but yeah, definitely, uh, more cheery than ghosts. Um, all right. <laughs> so my things, my three things, if I could teach to my future children would be, uh, first one would be to be kind and inclusive and speak up for those who need it because, it matters mm. and it saves yeah. lives um yeah. second would be to love and prioritize yourself even on days where you don't want to and if that includes putting up boundaries that prioritize yourself that make other people mad do it because you matter um and the third one is to never stop trying to learn so continually like educate mm. yourself and listen when people are talking and seek out advice and gather your own information and Know yeah. that it's okay to update your opinions and your facts. Yeah, those are good. Those I have are time good. To think about it. Yeah, <laughs> I would definitely. I'm a huge advocate for loving yourself, like figuring yeah. out, and that is so. That there's so much wrapped in that, like finding your happiness and pursuing it, and loving yourself means setting your boundaries for other people. Like loving yourself means so many things. So definitely how right. to love yourself, and if you love yourself, if you need help, you'll go get it. But also knowing that you don't need other outside love you can appreciate it and you know but you don't need it Uh, yeah that's so there's so much in that but that's definitely one thing is love yourself um how i i mean i want emotional intelligence is huge like i like that 
to understand how other people work it might be different than your own and like someone's feeling a certain way it might not be because their piece of pie fell on the floor it could have been a reaction their reaction so big because of all the other things that have happened so it helps right. you understand people more and then how you interact with them and respond to them um so yeah loving yourself emotional intelligence and be ki be kind to others the world would be such a better place if everyone yeah. could have those three things locked yeah. down yeah i mean and also being kind to others isn't always like that's a lot of people think like you get have to get walked on right. I'll, being kind to others is like sometimes i'll tell joy she's in the wrong because I, I love her and i'm kind to her and i'll kindly tell her that she's doing something that can hurt her and make her unhappy later in on life and she'll do right. the same for me and that's showing kindness right and, but how you say it also matters you have to be kind yes. when you say it so right okay yeah there you go well good for Just, for someone that did not have time to repair those were excellent answers thank you thank you yeah. uh do you have a short other one or is that uh, that that can be all the time we have for today unless you have one short other question i don't that those okay. are the only two i had picked out this time beautiful all right that was a good i was more I awake like this time this was a good yeah. session <laughs> this is a good episode i got out my tantrum before we started filming and i was i was up and ready <laughs> you're good all right i wasn't exhausted you got your tantrum out we're happy <laughs> <laughs> all right i love you a lot um and then also make sure you're following us on our instagram uh all things internet podcast remember mm -hmm. the name and our twitter podcast ati uh, and there we'll tweet out things and uh, post things for you guys to respond to and heads up on what's going to happen and we should have yeah. new podcast art by the time this goes up i'm so excited hey, anthony my designer said he'd have it by this weekend we'll see what happens but we'll that's it for now all right <laughs> i love you guys i love you love you guys uh, do you want to take us out that's it for today. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 Thank you for listening to this week's episode of All Things Internet. Please make sure to like and follow our podcast on whichever platform you're currently listening to it on. And make sure to follow us at Podcast ATI on Twitter, where you can ask questions and get the latest updates on our show. We love you. Thanks for listening. I'm Rachel Ballinger, and this has been All Things Internet.